some of the best and best known high school boys and girls basketball players in the world will showcase their talent at the 16th annual Jordan Brand Basketball Classic this Friday at the Barclays Center at the Jordan at the Barclays Center. Now at the Jordan Classic, you'll have the opportunity to see international, national, and regional high school talent before they move forward to play at the collegiate level and beyond. Now, when it comes to basketball talent, Rudy King has spent the majority of his adult life assessing players as head coach of boys basketball at Bishop Lachlan High School, and presently, he's assistant head boys basketball coach at Monsignor Scanlon in the Bronx. Friday, Rudy will, King will coach the red team in the Jordan Brand Classic Regional Game. Welcome, Rudy. Thank you. Thank Man, you for having it's me, Mike. it's been quite some time, about three Definitely. years, right? Yeah, it's been some time. Yeah. So, uh, you're right now, you're presently head coach at Bishop, uh, at Monsignor Scanlon. But before we get to talk about this game coming up this Friday, you know, I'm going through my Twitter account in the morning, and boom, up pops your uh, map of college players who are being recruited. Yes. And the dominant players who are being recruited D1, as you can see on the map, you can look over here on mm -hmm. my shoulder here, you can see where the majority of the players who are coming out to D1 schools are from Maryland, yes. North Carolina, uh, other parts Georgia, of the South. Georgia, Nevada, mm -hmm. Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's I, I, you know, personally, you know, been around for some time, and I think it has a lot to do and, with uh, and, 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 prep. And you hear a lot about, you know, I've always heard, hey, New York is not producing. New York is not producing these top ball players that they used to, you know, maybe five, ten years ago, fifteen years ago. So what happened? I mean, and I mean, because not right now, the proof is in the pudding. If you could put that map up again. Well, I'm not going to say that there isn't talent mm -hmm. here in New York City. I just think that it's being cultivated differently. Okay. Uh, the thirst and hunger for the athletes uh, 10, 15 years ago was totally different. Uh, a lot more respect for the game, from not just from an uh, athletic perspective, but also from a teaching perspective, from the coach's standpoint. Uh, more leadership off the court and on the court. So I think that has a lot to do with what you're seeing now. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it, it comes from the top. Just, it's just not the responsibility of the players. Yeah, it comes from the top. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I've, you know, you know, Mike. I've been pretty outspoken in my time, oh, yeah. and. I think that uh, we just have to do a better job of leading as adults. Uh, you know, what we're seeing now is just a product of our teaching, and I think that we've dropped the ball somewhere along the line. And, you know, it's just time to own up to admit that we have to just do a better job of it, teaching. It's basically just come down to basic fundamentals. You know, well, fundamentals, uh, you know, our kids mm -hmm. are dealing with a, a lot different time now with the social media. And I think that we have to open up as adults and realize that it is different. We really don't understand the social media. And we just have to be a little bit more uh, we. You know, I think that we have to communicate more with the kids. Uh, we have to listen a little bit more. And I think that uh, once we do that, I think that we'll be able to help them out a little bit more. think there's too much of a LeVar Ball uh, aspect to that? As far well, as no, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that that's too much of a LeVar, a LeVar Ball. I, I think that it's... Uh, once again, as you mentioned, the fundamental perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think that we have to uh, dig back down into the to the roots of uh, finding out what the communication issues are. You know, develop the uh, relationships with the AAU coaches and the high school coaches and the parents and the ADs. And I think once we start to show the respect. Uh, for relationship, uh, I think that the kids would be a little bit more receptive to the information. Also, academics, that's missing, right? Especially when it comes to the SAT scores. The NCAA has changed how you can now receive a scholarship because mm -hmm. they have so many different rules and regulations, and they change like every other year. Well, they, they, they've changed. Uh, I think that um, the academic issues have always been there. I, I just think that they are a little bit different now. Uh, but once again, that goes back to the relationship with the coaches, the parents, the players, and not looking at the uh, ACT and the NCAA as enemies, even though there are some things that are, uh, you know, put in place that are struggle, you know, hard to deal with. But I think that we just have to communicate better. And should the goal, as an athlete, as a player that's being recruited, he should look at himself as a failure if he's being recruited, if he goes to a D2. School. Right. If he goes to LIU, if right. he goes to St. Francis, they have, right. they have a good program. Right. I just think, once again, it's just the whole social thing. Everything is so immediate. Uh, you know, everything is glorified. If you're not on television, you're a failure. And, and at the end of the day, as we know, uh, most of these athletes are not going to be professional players. They're going to be professional people. Mm -hmm. And that, once again, just goes back to the foundation of us as adults 
being more responsible and communicating and, and less friction, and helping the kids. All right, cool. Let's move on. Let's yes. shift gears. Yes. Jordan Classic this Friday. Yes. This Jordan is your Grand second Classic. time, man. This is my second right? time. Right, you did it back in 09. Yeah. I remember, we did a big package on you. You were a coach at Bishop Lachlan, yeah. and it, it was at Madison Square Garden. Yes. This one's going to be at the Barclays Center. Yes. Excited. Uh, you know, it's always an honor to participate in a game like this. Uh, this is my second time, and I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. really and especially to it. You're, you're coaching what? Uh, the red Keith, team. The red team. You got Keith Williams? Yeah, Keith you have Williams. Jose, oh, Jose Alvarado? Yes. Uh, Keith Williams uh, attends Bishop, Bishop Lachlan. Lachlan. Alvarado attends Christ the King. Yes. Right. So we have uh, Alvarado. Uh, we have uh, Jordan Tucker. We have uh, Jelly Fam, Isaiah, Mr. Basketball, New York State, uh, Washington. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have a, a plethora of talent that's going to be competing, really looking forward to it. And, you know, a lot of these guys uh, could play in that national game. Uh, you know, you and I right. were talking, yeah, off, talk, yeah. you know, okay. were talking yeah. about that. So uh, I just think that it's a great opportunity for these young people to expose their talent and, and do a great job. When you look at Keith Williams, the way he's been playing, he really dominated. We, uh -huh. we have some tape of him right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, he really did well this year. Yes. He's uh, arguably, he, he could have been Mr. Basketball for New York State. Keith Williams... You know, I've been watching him his, his whole career. He's really developed into a, a, a very, very successful player. You know, Ra Anderson and, and Coach Gonzalez have really done a good job with him, and I think that he's going to thrive in Cincinnati. Hey, that's great. He's going to Cincinnati, same school that Lance Stevenson yes, went to a few yes, years ago. Yes. Let's also talk about Jose Alvarado and yes. Christ the King. How, Jose Alvarado is your, your prototypical point guard, really talented, handles the show. I think he's going to really do we well at Georgia also, Tech. Yeah. He's going to really do well. He's going to. Those guys are, are very similar to the old school kind of guards that New York City has produced. Uh, both of these guys are going to do really well at the penetrate, next level. Penetrate, can dish off yeah. while he's penetrating. Yeah, these guys are really, really talented. Good, good, good uh, visual, peripheral yeah. vision. Uh -huh. Share the basketball, understand how to play, play the right way, play hard, play at that next level. Right. Um, when it comes to coaching a game like this, how much coaching is involved? Well, for me, you know, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, I, you know, I'm always trying to give life lessons. You know, this is... This is an opportunity for them to be on the big stage. This is not a, a you know, a kind of go through the motions type of event, in my opinion. Uh, and hopefully, you know, they take a couple of the the, the, the the nuggets that you give them and they put it in their pocket and move on with it. You know, it's also an opportunity for the young ladies, too, because Jordan Brand, uh, like like I was mentioning before, you get a chance to see global talent. You get a chance to see uh, regional and national talent, and also the females. They're getting an opportunity to play because the McDonald's uh, Classic was always only the girls who play it, and Jordan Classic introduced it maybe about three, four years ago. So yeah. it's, it's they've caught up with the times. Yeah. So to speak. Uh, so what do you expect for this game for yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, you know, once again, it's just an opportunity to, to be on the sidelines. It's an honor. You know, you're, you're representing your city. You're representing your school brand. Uh, you're representing your personal brand. And it's like, once again, like, I think it's just an opportunity to uh, build that bridge, build the gap, see what these guys are thinking, see how that as, a, as an adult, as a person, as a mentor, that I can get, you know, do a better job of uh, passing that message to the younger people. Rudy King, welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks I really coming, appreciate man. you having Don't me on. Don't be a stranger, man. Yes, thank it's been you. For three years, definitely, right? Got to have you back. But I'll be at the Jordan Classic on Friday. Thank you.